So iOS 14 finally brings widgets to iPhone, but they are not as customizable as you would want them to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make custom widgets in iOS 14. So the very first app we are taking a look at today is called Widget Smith. It's a free application and they have some of the most customizable widget templates out there. So they come in all sizes. You have small, medium, and large, and you can make as many customizable templates as you want. So just click on any of them and I can basically edit them. So you have your clock, your calendar, your weather, your health activity. You can even choose a picture as a widget template. So for the sake of the video, let's just select the clock widget and customize it. So select it and you have the option to choose where the time will be showed for. Then you can change the design between numericals, index and plane. And then you have the option to change the fonts. So there are four fonts. You have New York, you have System, you have San Francisco Mono, and then you have the option to change the color for the hour and the minute hand. So you can change all of this but the best part is the background color options. You can change the background color option on the basis of opacity. You have all these nice looking colors and then you have colors that have different outlines. You can match the hour hand with that similar outline. So for the sake of the video, let's select white. So go back, click on save and you are done. So go back to the home screen and add a blank template. Hold it, click on edit widget and add the one you just made. In my case, it's small six. And now the widget is live and running on the home screen. Now, as I said, you can even use pictures. So you just have to select which album they are synced up from. So right now you can see I have this picture right on the home screen. So go back in the app and add a blank template if you haven't already. Then select images at the bottom and then you have to select which album they are synced from. So you can choose your videos, your camera roll, your hidden pictures. Just click on save and now you have images on your home screen in a small package. So the app also has a tools panel and a settings panel and you can manage your calendars, you can add an event, you can manage your reminders, you can sync any of them. Then you have one for the health. So all your health data from the health app is synced right here. Then you have one for astronomy. So all the moon placements are listed here. And then you have one for pictures. Again, you can select which album the pictures are synced from. And in the settings panel, you can manage permissions for images, for your weather, for clock, for location, and all of that stuff. So it's an amazing app with tons of potential and it's free of cost and you should go and check this out. So next up we have Widget Wizard and I know this is a paid application. It used to be a free application They recently made it public and just hear me out. So you have your agenda page right here, all your calendars, reminders are synced up. You can add them to countdown, you have your health information and then you have a settings panel. You can choose the look and feel of the widget. You can change the fonts. You can change the colors for the widget when it's in dark mode or in light mode. And then you have the agenda page. You can select what calendars are synced up. So all the basic stuff, you can, you can do all of this basic stuff, but the widgets themselves, they are just amazing. And yeah, you can also change your unit system. You can just customize and randomize them. So yeah, that is that. But the app doesn't justify what the widget can do. So this is a widget. It's a ginormous widget with four sections and you can have your reminders, your general reminders, your health stat, all of that synced right here. You can actually choose three different things for your health stats. So you can choose your steps, your calories, anything you want. And then you have this ginormous calendar which shows dates for two different months. So you have one widget, you have two widget, you have the triple one, and then you have the quadruple widget. So you have data for four different things. Now I know this is a paid application, but there is no other application on the app store, at least as of now, that can do as much as this app can do. So if you're willing, please go and check this out. It is worth your money. So moving on, we have photo widget, and this is a simple one-step widget application. So you can select a bunch of images and they will be run as a slideshow on the home screen in a desired size. So it's a pretty cool application and you should go check it out. It's free of cost and live on the app store right now. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. More content is coming really soon, so stay tuned for that and comment your favorite widget down in the comments. Until then, peace.